It's the next morning. Sun's coming out. I just relit the stove and just kind of kicking back and relaxing, enjoying the heat. It's usually always the coldest before dawn, except this morning wasn't too bad. But the weather was about to change and get a whole heck of a lot colder, a lot colder than what the temperature was supposed to be. Looking around for some deadfall. It's quite a bit down there. For winter camping, these Coleman dual fuel stoves are awesome. Propane doesn't seem to work too well in the winter time, but turning out to be a beautiful morning. Things are just getting getting ready. The sun's gonna come above the trees, warm us up, baking for breakfast. I need to do some dishes afterwards, so I'm gonna melt some snow for that. It's almost satisfying watching the snow just melt. Oh, the sun is starting to peak up. This was my attempt to use that fancy new gimbal I got with my Sony A6000 DSLR. However, dragging back a tree with you. Even though I tried to keep the batteries not warm in the tent and keep the tent heated, lithium batteries in the winter time are not your friend. They just seem to instantly pretty much die out. Batteries are fully charged when I came and within 10-15 seconds of trying to shoot some video the low power light on the battery was already flashing and didn't really get the video I wanted to shoot for the day but the potential is there for sure once the weather gets a little bit warmer maybe I could have put the batteries in my pocket to warm them up but it is what it is He's trying to back off his one ton diesel. Oh, he's gonna get her, he's gonna get her, he's gonna spin out. Oh, putting her in the cabbage. Probably missing his Jeep right about now. Oh, watch out for the tree. So we got a stack of wood right there to bring over. Cut up a bunch, so I got some more. I think that'll be enough for today and tonight. Steve's all sleeping in his bare burrito, checking out his filming his brand new Dodge truck. Hasn't even had it a full day yet. Well, it's not new, it's a 2011, but new to him. And just waiting to get this fire going a little bit and 
cook up some sausages for dinner and steak tonight. It's not too much happening. Steve and I are just chilling by the fire, like a having a beer. Having a beer. Oh, oh, oh you're stuck. Oh, Shut her down. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. And Fedor and his friend went out to do some wheeling. Fedor's probably getting them stuck. Yeah, probably. And then there's some other people. I, don't know, I guess you can't see them. The tree's blocking them. Circle jerking over there. <laughs> Maybe they're just going to have something to eat. But what we've noticed today is there's probably like about uh, 20 fire pits we found in this whole area going all the way out to that clearing. It was absolutely insane why people just don't have one fire pit. Yeah. It is pretty uh, picked over as far as wood goes. We had to go across the road, trudge through the snow into the bush across there, and there's lots of wood. That's where we got all this, where my electric chainsaw kicked butt cut all this perfect trail saw electric yep. don't have to worry about it not starting yep. carry two batteries and you're fine yep. and a charger. other than that it's motherfucking beer time we cook something to eat then this is bent pole northwest ipa nelson brewing it's actually really good if you get a chance to find this one in the stores i'd recommend picking it up is real good got all my gear right here and sucks about winter times all the batteries get cold and it's pretty much useless but i got the electric heater inside and when the wind comes down and get the generator fired up again so the drone batteries and i can warm up and hopefully take the drone out for quick food but wanted to use the stabilizer but the camera batteries died destroys the winter camping so this is my dish cloth from earlier and you can see it's pretty froze up the water hasn't froze up yet which is good but i need to move that inside the tent is gonna cook up some beef sausages and kick back and drink some more beer What are you doing? Are you cooking right on the coals? I am. A lot of people say to do that, but I'm not really sold on that yet. I'm gonna cook my beef sausage above the coals. Does that does that count? Probably not, eh? Yeah. Pork chops. Oh, that's good too. I might have to try that. If you guys remember, I built this tailgate table this past year. And it's been holding out pretty good. Really good. Man, I wish that wind would decide if it's coming or going because I think I would get some epic views with the drone. You want to, uh... and I think the wind is starting to peter off which is good because she's been cold today and I'm just getting things ready to cook up my steak it's getting some wood wood burning here so I can get some coals on there cook my steak in case you've noticed I don't have the grill and the slots to hold it together properly but this way I can lift it up and feed in wood easier Going back and forth. Well, things have totally changed now. Sun is set, wind is gone. Got a big fire, it's a lot warmer now. It feels a lot warmer, even for doors warm. Everybody's got their lanterns out. Those are the best things ever, especially in the winter time. They just give off so much light. Beautiful evening, except the smoke always seems to get in my eyes. I have to get my Russian goggles out. It's my favorite part of the evening, getting the stove fired up. Get some heat going in here and 
crash to bed. Home time tomorrow. Well, the next morning I didn't waste any time at all. I packed up and I was getting out of there. I needed to get home. My transfer case was puking out oil. I didn't have a clue how much oil was left. I had Steve bring me out a quart of transmission fluid and he brought out a wrench that I was able to pop it open and a little pump to fill it. But I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wing it and see how far I can get. Now, if you see the van on the left-hand side, that was actually pretty cool. A group of three people with snowshoes and a sled went out and randomly camped somewhere in the bush. I thought that was pretty darn badass. Just pulling into the side right here. The highway's coming up pretty close and need to get those tires aired up for the way home. I like to air up. Keep my air about 30 pounds in the wintertime, 35 in the summer. And on gravel roads, I like to air down to at least about 20 PSI just to make the ride a little bit more smoother. And everybody's aired up, heading home. The wind was blowing and it, the temperature just dropped. So, of course, the roads were drifting over again, getting pretty greasy. It's supposed to have been like plus 5, plus 6 today, but I think it's with the wind chills, more like minus 20. Temperature just dropped. Just dropped. But interesting enough, a lot of people are going out wheeling. Wipers is a huge place for wheeling. But on the way out there, there's a lot of military trucks heading out there, too. I'm not sure if there's some sort of training exercise or something going on, but uh, there's something definitely going on. A lot of people heading out, like I said, quads, ATVs, there's a military truck, one of them, one of many that I documented. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Sometimes when it's too cold, it's just great just to sit around the campsite, just be lazy all day, drink beer and relax. I'll see you guys in the next one.